Right. Well, of course, there are a few more weeks left. The numbers are crucial, uh, Mark. Well, if you look at the front of the Daily Telegraph, 100 Tory MPs denounce May's deal. Is it really 100? Well, denounce May's deal is a very careful turn of phrase. Mm. I've spent most of this week with the, the joyous job of ploughing through the websites and Facebook pages of Conservative MPs <laughs> Lucky to, find you. Out what, uh, to find out what they've actually said. So Conservative Homes estimate this morning is there are 64 Conservative MPs who are on the record as opposing the deal. That means either they're going to vote against or they've specified that they will not support it. There's another 27 or so who essentially have said that they dislike it, they want to oppose it, with some kind of caveat, as it stands, or they might be open to some kind of amendment, possibly. So I think it's very convenient for Downing Street, ultimately, to say 100 or 200 uh, de vote defeat, because that means if she was to lose by 30, 40, 50, mm. 60, what could be a disaster, um, if they can change expectations, manage expectations the right way, they'll try and spin it as being OK. But that is still a large rebellion. Indeed. I mean, are you saying that under 30, under 20, she gets to have a second go? Um, well, what, what she gets, nobody knows. I mean, Theresa, May, Theresa May's entire last... Um, <laughs> her entire time since the general election has been another go for Theresa May that nobody expected yeah. her to but get. This is the problem not just for Theresa May, but for Parliament, for the Labour Party, for the country, because the EU27 is saying there is no other deal on the table. As they would. So, well, absolutely, but I think they're telling the truth, given the, how long and laborious this process has been, 